How's it going, pumpkin heads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to the Land After Time Reborn. So, at the end of the last episode, I told you guys that I would have my next tier of infusion stone, and I do. I was able to grow enough essence to now make a regular infusion stone. So, using this, I can now make tier 2 essences which is really really cool and let me go ahead and pull up magical crops and we can see what essences I am able to make right here so I can make sheep essence tin essence bronze essence obsidian essence quartz essence mana steel essence redstone pig nether cow saltpeter basically i can make a bunch of the bunch of the lower tier materials that we'd be that we would possibly need so i just had to look at that real quick that you can smell oh no you can turn okay you can turn aseo essence into uh into armor wow you can turn all of that stuff into armor Ooh, i might actually look into the zavisio essence stuff but that's going to require an extreme infusion stone anyway so i figured since i'm gonna have a bunch of this essence stuff i went ahead and made a chest so that way I have an extra bit of storage for all of my essence and magical crop stuff since I needed somewhere to put it anyway. Also, I've been doing some thinking and since I have all of this random crap just sitting around my, sitting around my uh, chests, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is anything that I can teach to the uh to the transmutation table i'm gonna teach it and then i'm gonna throw the emc into the table that way it's at least being put to some use now a lot of this stuff might not even see a uh might not even see use I'm gonna be completely honest here the divining rod I'm gonna keep boat nether wart precious charm I can't get rid of neither the dinopedia the potions the seeds textile garden okay glass bottles can go Carrot seeds learned and gone. Potato seeds learned and gone. Star piece can't do anything with that. Aquatic shard can't do anything with that. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, iron bars. We don't really need those in there. So learn how to make iron bars and then be gone with you. Oh, look at that. I can grab another energy condenser and air an antimatter relay. See, all this useless stuff has a use now. Uh, I don't need all these fences. I don't need all these slabs. Learn how to make fences and then be gone with you. Slabs be gone with you more slabs be gone this is basically a way to store everything in uh, in a secure area and if I absolutely need other stuff using what I have I can just get rid of it like this end stone and this nether rack I definitely don't need that in here I'll just learn how to make it and send it on its way. 
Especially since it's cheap. It's really cheap to make. There we go. And then, let's see, what else do we got in here? Obsidian, I actually do, uh, I need it, but I don't need it on me. Bam, gone. Dirt, definitely don't need that on me. Gone. Cobble. Gone. And this will make room in chests for the stuff that I absolutely have to have in, in my inventory or in a chest, which is perfect. I actually need those pieces of glowstone, but I'm going to throw this dust in there and I only need two of those so that can go in there. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. And then, ah, creeper with pants on his head, standing outside my house. There we go. Okay. Because what I did was I started lighting up my, ow, lighting up my uh, garden here so that way things wouldn't spawn in here. So that way I don't have to worry about stuff trampling all over my garden for right now. All right, so that was a nice bit of spring cleaning that I just did. So now we can focus our efforts on making the next tier of essences. So let's grab the regular infusion stone and let's get to work. So using the regular infusion stone, I need to make, let's see, what crucio essence which I need to also make Asio Essence with first. So. Oh, yep, can't make iron just yet. There we go, Crucio. So redstone, glowstone, obsidian, Nether, let me just, you know what, there we go. Crucio Essence is used to make, do, 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 ah, there we go. Redstone seeds, glowstone seeds, obsidian seeds, pig seeds, cow seeds, chicken seeds, sheep seeds, Copper seeds, aluminum seeds, lead seeds, certus quartz, certus quartz seeds, sulfur seeds, tin seeds, mana steel seeds, bronze seeds, saltpeter seeds, and nether seeds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 times 4 is 90 something, 98, so I'm going to need a lot of essence a 
Let's see, do I have any more? I have very little. Now you guys definitely see what I was talking about when I say that I barely have scratched the surface of the stuff that I'm going to be needing. Oh crap, you know what? I just realized now I only am able to make one of these because I need more Minecio Essence to make more Minecio Seeds. Well, then I guess the most valuable one... is hmm I would say well let's let's take a look at the essences and see which one what I can use to make what I can use them to make so chicken essence is used to make a feather an egg Feather Falling Enchant Books and Draw Chicken. Uh, let's see. Cow Essence is used to make leather, a milk bucket, and raw beef. Pig Essence is used to make a raw pork chop. Sheep Essence is used to make wool. So, not really that helpful as far as the animal essences go you know I would say we could make mana steel but I haven't found any mana steel hmm what would be helpful here How did... Ah, the next tier up is how I make experience seeds and I need enchanted books. So let's see. Hmm, redstone? Actually, you know what? Glowstone would be very helpful. So let's make glowstone essence so I just need crucio and glowstone with a minicio uh, I just need one more piece of glowstone I'm gonna be glowing glowing I'm gonna be growing glowstone on two different fronts so oops, I forgot to make the crucio essence first bada boom all right. There we go. And then the Minicio, the Crucio, and the Glowstone. There we go. And I will put that next to nature. Bada bing. There we go. Whew. All right. So we're definitely going to need a lot of Minecio Essence, which is kind of, kind of, a, kind of easy to obtain, but now you see why it's easy to obtain. It basically cost me to make the Asio Essence and then to turn the Asio Essence into the Crucio Essence, pretty much like, let's see, four times, it cost me 16 of these, not counting the fact that I had to use Minicio to make the Crucio. So, it basically costs 16 of the previous one in order to make the next tier of essence for the next tier of seeds, which is a little ridiculous, 
but now you see why Minicio is in such high such high supply but also it's kind of a pain in the butt so what I'm gonna need to do is find a way to get Minicio essence a lot quicker than what I have. Oh, Minicio ore, I mean. The only problem. Ooh, what the? Hold on. What's a growth pulser? Minicio block. Hold on. I'm gonna look that up real quick because that sounds like something that might be helpful. Let's see. Magical crops. Growth pulser. Hey, it knew exactly what to look. How do you growth pulsers work? If I recall, the pulsar goes under the dirt that is under the plant you wish to grow faster. The only way, the only, they only work on the single block above the pulsar. At least that's how it's explained. Hmm. Okay, so they're only used to boost the growth of one crop because it'll only go under one, which, I mean, is kind of pointless if I'm able to make the lamp of growth, which I'm still not able to because I don't know what I'm missing from the research here so what I'm probably gonna do for right now is I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode here for right now I'm gonna do a little bit more research as far as what I'm gonna need to get this lamp of growth going then once I get the lamp of growth I'll get that and I'll set it out here in my garden and then I will have I'll basically just have it helping me boost the growth of my magical crops. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.